All right, everyone, this is an overview of the Lightspeed Tills feature. Once Tills have been enabled under the Tools Setup Basics Company section, you're ready to use Tills. And so at the beginning of the day, uh, when you're opening the store, you go up to the Tools menu at the top of the screen and you choose Tills. You'll then want to create a new Till under the Open Tills tab up here that I just clicked, and then choose New. It'll ask you what the opening balance is. If the opening balance, for example, is $400, this is the float that you have in your cash register to uh, be able to make change, that's the number you would put here. So I'm going to use $400 as an example. Would you like to join the till? Basically the one you just created and you do want to say yes. Okay, so now the till is active and we're able to uh, process transactions and it'll be recorded throughout the day. So let's hop over to the point of sale screen. and we'll process a transaction with cash just so we can practice and see how it affects the tills numbers. So we're going to add this item for $144.99 and we'll check out paying with cash. The customer gives me $160 we're giving them change of $4.14. Don't worry about this too much. This is just a basic transaction, and Lightspeed's going to be keeping track of uh, you know, what the drawer should be, what the till should be, I should say. Okay, going to go back to the browser screen. And at this point, let's pretend it's the end of the day. We've processed a full day of transactions. We'll go back to Tools, Tills. And it will show you the active till that you're a part of. You can only be part of one active till at a time. So uh, it, it's a little easier here. There's not too many options that you have to choose from. Just choose reconcile. Essentially, reconcile is, would you like to close the till and reconcile or count the tills? Essentially, another word that you might think of this meaning. Click OK. All right, so what they're saying here is that they're expecting in cash for us to have $555.86 in the drawer. Now that's because of the $400 we said we had at the beginning of the day, and then that transaction that we just processed uh, in the amount of $155.86. So you can just do your own count any way you'd like and type this in as so. Or if you'd rather, you could go to enter count, and it's a little more structured where it will tell you, uh, you know, how many 20s did I have, how many 50s did I have, examples. So let me try this method. Let's say that I had uh, five $100 bills, two twenties, a ten, a five. Now we're going to do the change. Uh, three quarters, 75, one dime, and one penny. Let's see if my fast math worked here. Great, okay. So that's another way. You're actually counting the denominations of money that you have. So that's great. $555.86 is what we counted. Same as what we expected. And now it's just going to say, how much is our closing till? Um, basically, you're saying you're leaving the $400 in the till for the next day's transactions. And this is how we recommend that you do it. And therefore, the amount to deposit is $155.86. Click OK. You've closed and reconciled the till. Now what you want to do is an end of day report. Oops, sorry, it's going to actually uh, print this for you. I'll show you what this printout looks like. <clears throat> and there you go. Till number one, funds beginning, funds ending, the deposit, the difference, and who did it, who created it, and who reconciled it. This is great to kind of track which manager um, you know, or employee was, was doing this work. All right, so you can print that out. Then, as I was saying, you go to the File menu, Print User Reports, End of Day. So we've reconciled the till, we've closed it down, and now we have an opportunity to do a detailed end of day report. Now, we've already done this, so go ahead and put the number that you had on your count from your till. And I've got this piece of paper sitting next to me that just printed out. So I'm going to put that exact amount. 
You'll notice all of the number math has been done for us here. It knows that the beginning till is 400. It knows the ending till is 400. And therefore, we're depositing 155.86. Print. And now you'll have a nice end of day report to accompany your till reconciliation report. And that looks like this. Much more involved. This is the one that shows you your uh, types of items that sold, the brands that sold, your, your payments, uh, how people paid, and, and quite a bit of information here that goes beyond just the till reconciliation. So both reports are valuable. And there you have it. That's opening the till, closing the till at the end of the day, and running your end of day report in light speed.